Hello, this is Chris from Fixed Screens, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a Garmin Phoenix 5S. Before starting this repair, it's going to be easier to manage if you first remove the strap. The first step to this repair is to remove the screen. To do this, you'll need to unscrew the four screws on the back of the device. Once the screws have been removed, lift up the back part of the housing carefully and remove the ribbon that connects it to the board. You'll see that there is a second ribbon on the board, which you can now also remove in order to complete the next step of removing the board from the remaining part of the housing. There are two screws that hold the board in place, which you will now remove. Once removed, you can now get the board out of the housing by prying in the gap around the edge of the board. This can be quite tricky, so be patient and light-handed so that you don't damage any part of the device. There is one final ribbon on the underside of the board, which as you pry the board up, you can now carefully detach from its place in the board. The screen and front part of the housing are one singular part on this model. Get this ready and start the process in reverse. Connect the ribbon of your new screen and housing into place where you've just removed the final ribbon when removing your old screen. Now position the board into your new housing. This part can also be tricky, so again have patience and a light touch. Remember that there is the long ribbon that must be positioned over the top of the board. When the board is now in place, you can attach it into its connector. If you have the device positioned so that the two ribbon connectors are at the top of the device, this second ribbon goes into the connector that's on the left hand side. You can now reinsert the two screws that secure the board to the top part of the housing. Now go ahead and connect the back part of the housing via the only remaining ribbon connector on the board. Once the ribbon is connected, you can finish the process by reinserting the four screws that fit into the back of the device. That concludes this repair tutorial. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.